When you are an object with a mass of 250 grams is submerged in water and its weight was recorded to be 2.2 newton. Now, the questions are here. One, calculate the upflast on the objects. Secondly, determine the weight of the water displaced. Thirdly, what is the mass of the displaced water? Fourth, what is the volume of displaced water? And this, that is E, calculate the volume and the mass of an object. And then F, that is, calculate the relative density of an object. And G, calculate its density. So, we are having this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we are having six questions on how now we can determine from only these two data that we've been given from the question. Now, weight, the little weight of an object, that is W1, is equal now to 250 gram. So it is written in terms of gram. So it is our purpose now to convert this one into Newton so as we may definitely use this one. Konilengo la kwanza imeandikwa katika gram. Tunaibadilisha kwenda kwenye Newton ili tuweze kupata Newton so as we may use we may use what we definitely call it weight of an object with little weight. And therefore from one gram is equal now to 0 0.01 Newton. Then what if now we are having 250 gram is equal now to what? From then here, once we close multiplication, that is W1 will be equal now to 2.5 Newton. So this is the weight of an object in air, and this is the little weight. And this comes from the weight data. This object was, was having a mass of 250 gram. And if that is the case, it was recorded as 2.2 Newton when it was submerged in water. Therefore, this first weight is now 2.5 Newton. And the second weight, that is apparent weight, is 2.2 Newton. So this is a weight of an object in air, which is called lean weight. And this is weight of an object in water, which is called apparent weight. Now, this is now at the data that we are having in our equation, in our question. Therefore, the first question, that is A, is to determine upflast. Upflast is the difference between the apparent weight and the, what we call it lead weights. And that is why we say now, upflast is equal now, upflast is equal now to W1 minus W2, that is the weight of an object in air, minus apparent weight. Now this, is equal now to 2.5 Newton minus 2.2 Newton. And therefore, now at last it will be equal now to 0 0.3 Newton. This is an at last. And that was the first question, determine the at last of an object. The second question is to determine the weight of the water displaced. According to the Archimedes principle, which states that the weight of plastic should be equal to the weight of the displaced water. That is according, according to Archimedes principle. Ko Archimedes principle in a sema kwamba, at last sawa sawa na weight of a no, I mean weight of the displaced water. That is a plastic. Now at last it should be equal to the weight of the displaced water. Now the second question should be done in such a way that flow. Archimedes principle from Archimedes principle means a plastic is equal now a plastic is equal now to weight of displaced water displaced water and therefore in short now B the weight of the displaced water will be equal now to 0 0.3 newton why Sababu, a plus is equal now to weight of the displaced water. Because we have got this one according.
according to the Archimedes principle. Because this is what now we have got. Because to me, pata he, kuringana na Archimedes principle, pamba, 0.3 is Newton is an aplastic. But according to Archimedes principle, a plus is equal to the weight of the displaced water and which is equal now to 0 0.3. And that is now B. Then what next? The next question is to determine the mass of the displaced water. So if now the force is given or weight is given as 0 0.3, that is the weight of the displaced water. So we have to use the concept that this Newton is converted to gram. And this is why we say one gram is definitely equal to 0 0.1 Newton. What if now we are having 0 0.3 Newton? Therefore, we close multiplication. Now, after closing multiplication, this now divided by this one. It is now 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.01 times 100 here times 100. And therefore, this is equal now to, now this cancel with this one, it is 30 gram. So this is the water, the amount of water displaced in terms of gram. And therefore, we conclude the mass of the displaced water, the mass of displaced water, displaced water is equal now to 30 gram. This is what we But also, apart from using this concept, Tunaweza tukatumia F is equal now to mg. Ambayo manake force ni hapa Newton ambayo umepewa alafu mass ndo tunawitafutia lakini g is constant about 10 Newton per kg. Kwa hiyo manake ni kwamba swali la pili tumetumia concept ya thrust sawa na weight of the displaced water. Lakini swali la tatu ambayo tunaambiwa sasa to determine mass of the displaced water tunaikonvert hii weight kwenda kwenye mass ambapo tunatumia concept ya F is equal to mg au 1 gram is equal to 0 0.01 newton ambapo hii ni sawa na hii ambapo tutapata this is mass of the displaced water then kinachofata after we have determined the mass of the displaced water the other question is to determine the volume of the displaced water to determine the volume of the displaced water, we are having density of water about 1 gram per centimeter cubic and then to the mass about 30 gram. Therefore, to the concept of density, density is equal now to mass over volume. Remember, we are looking now for what we call it volume of the displaced water. Because the volume will be equal now to mass over density. But remember, mass is 30 gram and density is 1 gram per centimeter cubic. Kwa hiyo kama tunataka sa kubitamaini kitu ambayo kinaitua volume of the dispersed water. Tunakunguka density ya water tunayo, alafu na mass ya water tunayo. Kwa mwane kwa kutumia concept is mbili, tunatumia density is equal to mass over volume. Ili sasa tunye kupata kitu ambayo kinaitua volume is equal to mass over density. And mathematically, grammar and gram cancel out. And what we call it volume will be equal, that is B, volume of displaced water is equal now to that centimeter cubic. This is how we can determine what we call it volume of displaced water. Why in volume we are displaced water? See your volume of objects. If now you are looking for the volume of object, and on next question, there is something that you have to say or you have to do so as you always the pionesha. And finally, the next question is to determine the volume of an object and volt a mass of an object. But from displacement method, from displacement, displacement method, we say the volume of the displaced water should be equal to the volume of an object which is dropped into the water. Now, this is the volume of the displaced water. Therefore, we say volume of displaced, volume of displaced water should be equal now to volume of object, volume of object. This is the displacement method. Manaki Nkwaba, unapotungukiza kitu kwenye maji, Kile kiwango cha maji kinachopisha jiwe, ujazo wake ni sawa na ujazo wa hile jiwa mbao 
kusikiliza na ndio maana sasa volume of the dispersed water you will be equal now to 30 which is equal to volume of an object now volume of an object is equal now to 30 centimeter cubic this is how now we can determine so in short we have got what we call it volume of displaced water by using this volume of displaced water from displacement method we compare between the volume of the displaced water and the volume of an object which actually say volume of an object is equal to volume of displaced water that is why volume of an object is equal to that centimeter cubic and now the next question is to determine mass of an object mass of an object mass of an object is only obtained from when you have taken from density is equal now to mass of the volume but we don't have density we don't have mass we have only what we call it volume we are having volume of an object volume of an object is equal now as we have said is equal now to that centimeter cubic but density of an object is not there but also mass of an object is not there now from density is equal now to mass is over volume we cannot be use this one until we have got what we call it density and volume so as we can say mass is equal now to density times volume but before we have not got the density, come up with the density, hat waste, come back with the density, hat waste, cut to us as a canoe, put a foot a pile. What we have to do is to find out density. And density, hat waste, a particular couple of the doctor relative density. Now, first of all, we have to determine relative density is equal now to W1 over W1 minus W2 means. Weight of an object in the air over a, a plastic. Now, weight of an object in the air was 2.5 newton and weight of an object in the air, 0.5 minus it, it is 2.2. Now, this is now, it is 2.5 newton divided by 0 0.3. And therefore, here by 10, here it is by 10. And therefore, we are having 2.5. 25 over 3. Now this is now, it is 8, which is 24, point now 3, 3, this is now relative density. Therefore, relative density will be equal now to 8.3. This is relative density. Therefore, by using relative density is equal now to density of substance over density of water. But remember, density of water, we have used the 1 gram per centimeter cubic. Therefore, relative density is 8.3 is equal now to density of substance over 1 gram per centimeter cubic. Therefore, we close multiplication. It is where now we get density of substance is equal now to 8.3 gram per centimeter cubic. But I got my part of density. Sasa and the tumarubi have Kwamba, density is equal now to 8.3 gram per centimeter cubic and also mass is not there it is the one that we are looking for and then lastly volume is 30 centimeter cubic therefore we cross multiplication and therefore mass will be equal now to 8.3 times now 30 which now is a gram because gram kwa sababu centimeter cubic na centimeter cubic zitaondoka Kwa kifupi ni kwamba sasa tutakuwa na huyu hapa mara huyu hapa ambao sasa ni 9 then it is 9 it is 24 ambao sasa itakuwa ni gram so this is 200 kwa mass itakuwa ni 249 kwa hiyo hauwezi ukapata mass pasipo kutafuta density na hauwezi ukapata density kwenye Archimedes principle pasipo kutafuta relative density kwa cha kwanza lazima tutafute kwanza relative density Tukisha pata relative density, tunakuja tunasubstitute hapa, ambao tunajua relative density is equal to density of substance over density of water, ambao density of water ni constant. Kwa tukisha pata hii, hii hapa tayari, tunakuja tumepata density of substance. Ndo tunakuja tunapachika sa kwenye density is equal to mass over volume, ambapo mass is on a constant volume. Ambapo tukisha fanya hiko sasa, tunapata kitu ambacho.